there. Okay, so today, Saturday, project of the day is to install um, vents for our battery compartment inside the trailer. We replaced our batteries and got batteries that are basically for outdoor use only. Um, so because our compartment, battery compartment's on the inside of the trailer, we need to vent it. So we have the compartment box closed off. It's gonna be closed off. There's gonna be a vent in the floor and there's a vent with a pipe that goes outside of the trailer. And so Brian's finishing that up today. Hopefully tomorrow we can take our trailer up to the property finally so that we can, you know, start camping this year. But that's the project of the day. Um, and I was gonna show you a little bit of that. He's almost done. And I'll show you that here in just a second. Okay, so this is our battery compartment box we built into the Venos of our seven by 14. So we have two six volt batteries in here. These are lead acid batteries, which is why we needed to vent this compartment. Um, so we have the vent in the floor. So that will allow the air, fresh air to come in. And then through the lid of this box, uh, we have this pipe. I think it's one and a quarter inch PVC pipe that goes from inside the box all the way up and out. So this is all DIY stuff we picked up from Ace Hardware. So that will allow, because these batteries when charging will put out this harmful gas that we don't want to um, go into our living space. We want to vent that out, especially because we have this stove here. This is our vented propane stove. Um, so let me show you what that's gonna look like on the outside of the trailer. So the idea is that we're gonna get fresh flow of air in and out. So it'll, it should be a constant flow in, out. And let's look at the outside of the trailer. Okay, so here's our seven by 14 cargo conversion, cargo trailer conversion. And here's what the vent, vent looks like on the outside. Um, we just siliconed kind of heavily around the rim of it on purpose. Kind of just keep rain water from dripping in it is the thought anyway. We'll see how that works out. But that's it. Um, just a little like a two inch in diameter vent. And that should work just fine. So there's the battery compartment with the lid on. So it's fully vented with the inlet and the outlet. There's the outlet there. Let's see, there we go. And again, that runs all the way up and out through the vent up there. So this box is completely sealed and we have the lid on there. So if we do need to get to the batteries, uh, we can just lift this up. And there they are. So, yep, we're good to go now. We can take our trailer up to the property. And, yep, we're going to go do that tomorrow. Take this out and out to the property and go camping. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I, you know, give us some tips or advice if you have any. I'm hoping that this will eliminate the issue of having the um, the fumes or gas coming off of those batteries when they charge from coming into our living space. That was the whole intent of this. And uh, yep, yeah. we're using these batteries to run a CPAP at night and we do have a flat screen 12 volt flat screen TV DVD combo that we may run for a few hours in the evening. It's mounted back there on the wall. As well as a breast pump a couple times a day and charging cell phones and, and batteries and such, those type of things. Other than that, um, that's all we need. We've got our solar power and our batteries taken care of and we're ready to go. 
this guy's been waiting to go camping and this was like the last project that we needed to get done so we can take this out to the property and start enjoying our camping season. Yeah, Comet? Fantasy came true when I found you.